welcome back to my channel so today we are doing my favorite august beauty favorites nope we are not we are not because we just got into august we are doing my favorite july beauty favorites i picked 10 products that i have been loving for the past month of july and it was really really hard but I decided to pick the things that I find myself using constantly over and over and these products are so, it. yeah, let me show you my July beauty favorites. I have some like fragrance, some skincare, and that's about it because that's what I'm into, fragrance and skincare. This is the 111 um, Anti-Blemish Biocellulo Facial Mask. Blah. Let me try that again. This is the 111 Skin Biocellio a face mask for people who have acne prone skin. It's targeted for hormonal acne and it comes in two parts. The top part, what I love about this is that the top part is a different formulation um, because usually people with hormonal acne don't really have it necessarily on their forehead so the top part is more anti-aging. And the bottom part is more targeting for hormonal acne, and I absolutely love this. The next product that I have been loving, it's in, it's been in my shower, is the Rodeal Vitamin C Brightening Cleanser. Um, you know, I want nice, bright skin. Um, and I've also, I think this also helps with hyperpigmentation, so that's why I've been also been using it a lot in my shower. Even my husband uses this. I really have been loving this. It's such a good summer product, and the packaging is adorable. Another one of mine that I've been doing, I've been actually taking a little bit of this and mixing it with the next product that I'm going to show you, this booster. But anyways, this is the Cat Berkey pH Enzyme um, Essence. Usually, I wash my face put an essence on and then like my whole skincare regimen um this helps me not get super dry and um it helps to not strip my skin because I have been doing like Sunday Riley's Saturn sulfur mask that could be a little bit drying but this helps balance it so it's a pH and essence um have been loving this this smells like pure cucumber me it's like such a calming and soothing product it helps with like redness and irritation so I really like it. Literally, I'd use a little bit in my regular skincare regime and it's great. Next two products, I kind of mix and match and mix it up a little bit when I need that little bit boost of hydration because of the skin um, acne products that I have been using. But anyways, next product is the Mila Morsi Dual Action Serum. This is my favorite serum in the whole world. I have a lot of serums. I love a whole bunch of different serums I honestly do but this one is my favorite 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 oh, serum. she is out of California she is I believe an esthetician she has a lot of celebrity clients like Ellen DeGeneres um, and everything like that and she has a spa in California so this is a dual action wrinkle smoother plumping concentrate it has root fruit extract it's good for stressed out skin hello my whole life is stressed out but um, I really like it because the texture goes right into your skin and it's lightweight and it's perfect for this time of year like summer, fall, spring when it's not cold cold yet and I don't need that extra crazy hydration. Next product is the 111 Skin um, Space Antioxidant Booster. This booster I have been mixing it sometimes with the pH enzyme. Or sometimes I've been mixing it with my um, Mila Morrissey Dual Action Serum. And I mainly focus it on my cheeks because that's where I find that I get dehydrated the most. But I have been loving this. You can wear this on its own or you can mix it into your moisturizer just like I have been doing. And it just gives you that extra boost to hydration. It's great for combination skin and people who have acne prone gallon and gets it is the cilantro hair conditioner which is awesome and it is the dandruff shampoo since i don't wash my hair too often i find that i get like dandruff or dry skin i don't know or maybe it's just flakes from the dry shampoo so the dandruff shampoo uh shampoo really like clarifies and takes all that gunk out on, on my scalp so i love this and the cilantro hair conditioner i really work it towards more like through the ends of my hair rather than the top and it's just so softening hydrating and 
my hair feels so good after so good so i've been loving these two together the last three products are from byredo it is a fragrance line and honestly i love all of byredo's fragrances for the most part like 90 percent of them and um i'm about to show you so i am a mommy i have a toddler i have a lot of hair on my head i don't always have time to wash my hair dry it and do the whole nine like i used to now that i have a toddler and a full-time job that i have to take care of did that make sense hopefully you get what i'm trying to say here anyway so i live off a of dry shampoo and my favorite dry shampoo from Byredo is La Tulipe. It literally smells like tulips. I'm sorry, this is not dry shampoo. This is hair perfume. Same thing. Anyway, so it just makes my hair, like right now I have to wash my hair, but it just makes me last an extra day or two without smelling a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? I just walk by you and literally I smell like I'm walking on tulips. girl girl i need to cut this hair bow de freak it's bow de freak i believe bow de freak has musk vetiver and i forget i forget the other notes but honestly it's just so it's kind of florally and musky like musk and floral it is so delicious what i love about it it's not like like over empowering does that make sense i'm trying to make sense today do i make sense? so it's it's lightweight it's like not like a grandma scent at all and i just love it love 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 the byredo bells of freak body cream yo this body cream ugh, it's Okay, it uh, it feels like a body cream, like it's thick, it's creamy, but once you put it on your body, it's not sticky whatsoever, because that's my biggest pet peeve with body creams, it's like the sticky factor after, I am not about that, but this is totally not sticky, and oh, the smell, I swear guys, if you are ever near like a Space NK, I believe a new, uh, Bloomingdale's or whatever, um, and you see Byredo, go smell them. They are amazing. So Bal de Freak and La Tulipe has been like my favorite scents for the month of July. But I love them all. Like I have Mojave, I'm sorry. I have Gypsy Water. I have Bibliotech. I really, really, really love their Blanche. Smells delicious. Um, there's so many more products. I'm a product junkie that I just love and I have been loving for the month of July. Oh my god i cannot believe i forgot to include my eyelash serum oh gosh side note guys um i really have been loving glam lash or grande lash i'll link it down below it really has made my lashes really long i've been using it for june and july and i love 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 that product i am so pissed that i forgot it i am so sorry but if you watch my videos i'm sure you heard me talk about it in previous videos how much i love it and how much it's grown my lashes favorite beauty products for the month of july and i cannot wait to the end of august to post my august beauty favorites because i have so much products that are on my radar that i have to try this month and let you guys know if i like guys thank you so much for watching I appreciate you guys so much and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at VanessaPampa91 and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video. I'm going to be posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And, um, please like this video. It will help me so much and don't forget to comment down below. I am going to be working on a Q&A really soon and uploading that so if you have any questions for me ask them you can ask me anything i promise i'll answer it no matter how crazy it is and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video thank you bye mm.